Hey, this is Mike B. Zan, and I'm talking about the spotlight effect. The spotlight effect is where you think people are paying more attention to you than they actually are. An example would be if you said something that was kind of awkward in a group of people, and you suddenly think everyone's thinking about what you said for the rest of the whole night and the day after. You think everyone's still just thinking about it. Or if you wear, say, a silly shirt and you're out in public and you feel like everyone's looking at you because you, your clothing's not cool or something. But in reality, maybe people are silently judging you in their minds. But if they are, it's probably only for a fraction of a second. Because in reality, most people don't really care about you enough to just think about you all the time and think about the thing that you think they're thinking. If someone looks at you, your first thought is, is that they're thinking something about you. But to that person who's looking at you, their first thought is, is that you're thinking something about them. See, we're all hyper-focused on ourselves. We're all the main characters of our own life stories. So it makes sense that, that this would just be the default mode of the brain because the brain is designed for self-preservation and survival it's designed to see threats and figure out if it should flee or fight the trick is separating fact from fiction like what's real what's reality what's the reality of the situation and the reality is is that attention spans are short most people are just worried about themselves and in reality people are not thinking about you as much as you think that they are so it's a big relief to realize that that you're the author of your own story and people aren't really reading your story as obsessively as you think they are which is a liberating feeling to realize that everyone's just worried about themselves because then you can make that piece of art that you want to without feeling like everyone's going to judge it. And if they do judge it, it's often more a reflection of their own insecurities than it is anything to do with you as a person. And then on social media, uh, attention spans are even shorter because everyone's just posting things all the time. There's billions and billions of posts competing for attention. So if you post something and it gets a thousand likes on Facebook or somewhere, that might feel cool, but in reality, five seconds after the person liked it, they've already moved on to something else. So, you know, both positive and negative thoughts about someone are normally short-lived unless someone does something that's totally outrageous. But for the most part, most of the things that we think people are paying attention to are so trivial and they aren't paying attention to it. So that's what I have to say about that. Once again, I'm Mikey B. Zan and thank you for watching.